Hey guys, this is Jan. I'm just uh, waiting for my homeboy to come in. Uh, this is another video brought to you by, uh, by Prime Daily. It's gonna be something really exciting today. I'm, I'm just waiting for him to get here and uh, we'll get this stuff taken care of. See you guys in a bit. A few moments later. Alright, so this is John here. Uh, this is my car. Uh, we're just gonna fix something that's kind of been bothering me for a little while, some paint. Uh, right here that kind of chipped off when I was on the highway. I don't know if it was a rock or something, but it's been there for a couple of months. So we're gonna go ahead and fix this right here. And this right here, we're probably gonna peel the rest of that off. Touch this up right here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that with some OEM Subaru paint that I got online. And uh, it kind of looks like this. And uh, if you're gonna end up doing this yourself, make sure you get the right color code. Because you know, there's a lot of shades of white out there. Every car has that. I'm gonna show you what mine was. Well, I found mine. I found it right here on the VIN tab, where the VIN number is. It's right here. And what the hell was it? Oh, it says color code right there, K1X. Of course, every car has its own color code, but before you get some paint, make sure you get the right one for you. Cause you don't want to end up with a different shade of whatever color your car. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we get started with that, I want to address something really quick. That this I've never seen videos about this, and it's really not that important to be honest. That's probably why I haven't seen any videos about that. But I went ahead and picked up some stem caps for my car because the one that come on Subaru from factory, they're just trash. Like the one on my driver's side completely fell off. I don't know where it is. It's just like a piece of plastic. And the one on my rear, let me show you what it looks like. You wanna close up real quick? So like right here, you see how it just opened up? Like it's not even covering it. So it's just, this is trash. We're gonna completely get rid of this. And this is trash. We're gonna go ahead and put in these stainless steel STI caps. And that'll take like 30 seconds. Let's get on with the paint. A couple of things that, you know, we're pretty much gonna need for the job. Uh, some cotton balls or Q-tips or something like that uh, because you're going to need some rubbing alcohol just to clean up any dirt or anything around the area that you're going to paint because of course you don't want that. You want it to be nice and clean. So more than two cotton balls preferably. I don't know why Yarn only got two but that'll do some rubbing alcohol and of course your paint. So go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with this right here because this is the, pretty much the least bad part don't do drugs if you're doing it stop it if that's grammatically correct uh, so what I gotta do is clean it up and from the instructions on the uh, paint you want to go ahead and uh, of course clean it up you want to put at least two coats or three four whatever you need depending on how bad it is um, and then you want to put a clear coat on that now for each coat you want to let it dry for about 10 15 minutes just to make sure it dries. you got to do a little bit more go ahead and do that and you don't want to do this directly in the sunlight. That's why I got enough. any dirt residue. Make sure it's nice and clean. See that? I don't even know what that is. But with the other side kind of dry it up. I'm gonna let that sit there for a little bit. Let it. This is gonna be the actual paint. And at the bottom, this is gonna be the clear coat that we're gonna to use to finish it off. Now. The box recommends you shake it pretty well before you actually use it. And remember, this is just sitting there, so you always want to shake it really well before we get started. And with this right here, this is going to be temporary because I plan on getting a new bumper eventually. But this is just for now. Because I don't like waking up every day and seeing this. We got my boy right here. Shout out. <laughs> So that is fine for first coat. It looks actually pretty hideous from here, but it's 
Obviously covering it up pretty well. It doesn't look gray. It just looks whitish. So that's good for a first coat. We'll let that dry for about 15 minutes. We'll apply a second one. Either way I do. And that is Goku from my Dragon Ball Fanatics. I picked that up on eBay. I can't put the link down there because I don't remember where I got it from. But it was an eBay sticker. Uh, all the mods that I have on the car, other than it being like uh, the limited version, you know, push button start and all that stuff. Uh, 2015 again. Um, I got that NVIDIA R400 exhaust. I can put the link down there below where I bought that as well. Very nice. It's a cat bag. I don't have a full header uh, engine back system yet. I want to do that. I'm just not ready to void the warranty. I got to be completely honest. Got some rally armor mud flaps because I am on the highway a lot. As you see the chips on the front, these mud flaps have protected this right here from chips. And of course, I've got my Valenti sequential tail lights. They're very nice. It really transforms the back of the car. And I know you probably hear that a lot about these BRZs and FRSs, but it really does. Man, you can already tell the difference. Like, if I step back a little bit. Yeah, probably one more coat after this. What do these look like guys? This is what's holding the camera. Whatever. I'm below. I'm below what you think. <laughs> Good one buddy. So. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. perfect but he's not gonna have this bumper for a long time this is just temporary uh, it's gonna get a new bumper and in reality it actually doesn't look bad at all from far away which was my goal as long as that you can't really you know as long as you couldn't really tell from you know six seven feet away I'm okay like I'm not even that far back right here. this is probably like two feet back and you almost can't even tell so that's completely fine with me yeah pretty much uh we're gonna be doing different type of videos i have we have a lot of you know things coming for the brc and the wrx we've only had this car for a couple months so we're gonna you know we're gonna be doing a lot of interesting stuff with it and uh, i'm sure you guys would love to see just show some love subscribe to our channel we're gonna be doing you know, fun stuff and uh yeah, show some love and uh, smash that subscribe button. Turn it up. Nice. And in 20 said, as y'all see, our cars are pretty much stock, so we still got a lot to do. We got coilovers, rims, um, maybe boosting my car. There's a lot of things we're really wanting to do with these cars. I've wanted this car since high school. He's been wanting it since high school. So we're really two young kids trying to get it in this world and have fun while we at it. You know what I mean? So if you like what we showed today, like he said, we're gonna be doing a lot of things like this, touch-ups and completely new things to our cars that are mostly stock so it's going to be a pretty exciting build so like he said go ahead and follow us subscribe like the video and uh share us with your friends thanks for watching squad